Swansea War Memorial, also known as the Swansea Cenotaph, is situated on the promenade beside Mumbles Road, Swansea City Centre, as it overlooks Swansea Bay. It was designed by the borough architect Ernest Morgan and closely resembles Edwin Lutyen's Cenotaph in London. The memorial cost £3,000, which was raised by public subscription. Over £9,000 was donated and £3,000 of the excess was directed to assist the children of the fallen. A foundation stone was laid by Field Marshal Douglas Haig, 1st Earl Haig, on the 1st of July 1922. The completed memorial was unveiled by the Admiral of the Fleet, Sir Doveton Sturdy, a year later, on the 21st of July 1923, with a dedication by the Vicar of Swansea, Cecil Wilson. It was made from Portland stone and stands some 9 metres or 30 foot high, standing on three steps topped by a stone chest, a symbolically empty tomb or cenotaph. The sides of the pylon bear bronze low reliefs. On both short sides are bronze wreaths with the dates 1914, 1918 and 1939 to 1945. The long side, facing the sea, bears a bronze anchor with a wreath, and the long side facing the land bears the coat of arms of the city of Swansea and the Latin inscription Pro Deo Regia et Patria, for God, King and Country. The foundation stone bears an inscription which records that it was laid by Earl Hague in 1922. It was set over a king's shilling placed by Mrs. Fewings, representing war widows. A separate inscription records the unveiling in 1923. The walls around the cenotaph have bronze memorial plaques listing the names of over 2,200 of Swansea's war dead from the First World War, 400 from the Second World War and several from later conflicts. The corners of the plaques are decorated with swastikas as symbols of good luck. It became a Grade 2 listed building in 1994.